Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be checking out some secrets you might not have known about in the mission Dear Uncle Tacitus. And what happens in this mission, this is when Arthur heads for Shady Bell to try and track down the rest of the gang after getting off the boat from Guarma. And he actually arrives at Van Horn Trading Post. There's a couple of interesting secrets about this mission that you might not have known about. The first happens right after you get off of the boat. So instead of going straight to your horse, if you actually head to the Old Light Saloon, you know where there's supposed to be a missing person poster of Princess Isabeau, Katharina Zinsmeister, posted on the outside? It'll actually be replaced with a bounty poster of Benedict Albright. So this is like either a weird glitch or like something went wrong with the mission. Because this is the only time in the game when Albright's poster can be observed on a wall outside of his bounty hunting mission. This is the very first one you do in Valentine that then lets you do the other bounty hunting missions. So I don't know why this is the case here. Again, it's either a glitch or an oversight from Rockstar. Uh, but either way, I found it was interesting enough to include in this video. Now, there's also a couple of other secrets as well, some that we have talked about in previous videos. Now, once Arthur gets to Shady Bell, if he actually waits long enough and doesn't read Sadie's letter, one of the Pinkerton agents can be seen and heard reading the letter, which is interesting to hear it from their perspective. Hello? Easy. Anybody here? Charles? Susan? Hello? Anyone here? Susan? Strauss, you here? Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws, hold up. Look. Those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around then. See if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. I found a letter. Mr. Tacitus Kilgore. That name mean anything to you? No, I don't think so. I've not yet read the case notes. I've been working on a different case until last week. Dear Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you leaving like that, and you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives from daddy's side. You are not yet acquainted with them in La Caye, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but Apparently, neither is too bad at this time of the year. <laughs> Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. <laughs> it's a trap. So we got to go find LaKay. That's where they're holed up. Yeah. How can you tell? Even a child could shoot at that balderdash. Keep looking. See what else you can find. So that's pretty cool, right? Because most people, including myself, just immediately go straight for the letter where Arthur actually reads it himself. Dear Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in La Caye, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. 
I guess I'm coming to see you in the cake. And in a previous video, we've actually covered what would happen if Arthur went straight to LeKay instead of going to Shady Bell. Basically, the long story short is you can skip most of the mission. Now, the only way you would know this is if you were playing the game for a second time, because other than that, you would have no idea where the gang was located to without reading the letter. But we have covered that, that it just jumps straight into the next mission. And unfortunately, there wasn't any like lines of dialogue where the rest of the gang was like, uh, how did you find us, Arthur? Because I think they had to assume that he just straight up read the letter. And the last thing that you might not have known about is if Arthur actually takes too long going to LeKay after Shady Bell, a cinematic cutscene will play with Arthur riding his horse to LeKay, which means you won't have to take the entire trip on your own. It's pretty cool, and it's actually a really beautiful scene. So that right there was some of the secrets you might not have known in the mission Dear Uncle Tacitus. Some very interesting ones and some small little details from Rockstar that really go to show you they really just think of almost every single thing uh, that the game has to offer for you. Reading that letter also sort of answers the question of how the Pinkertons found them. It was fairly obvious. No one brought the law to LeKay. Uh, it was kind of Sadie's letter. Like, I don't know how she was supposed to hint at LeKay without making it obvious that's where they were. But it was kind of her fault that the Pinkertons found them at LeKay because it clearly stated it in the letter. So I don't think it was any of, like, the gang members' fault, like Arthur or Mike or Dutch or Bill or anyone like that. Sadie was pretty descriptive of where the gang went and didn't use any, like, code words or anything like that. I'd love to hear from you guys, though, in those comments down below on what you thought of these secrets. And you can reach out to me on my Facebook page. If you want me to experiment and try other things in game, you can also send messages, photos, videos, and more. If you guys did want to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.